Linux is one of the most popular operating systems for cybersecurity professionals, but it can be challenging to learn if you've never used it before. In this video, we will show you 10 fundamental Linux commands that you must learn if you want to get ahead in your cybersecurity career. These commands are essential for performing basic tasks such as navigating the file system, managing files and directories, and working with processes. By mastering these commands, you will be able to perform common cybersecurity tasks efficiently and effectively. So let's dive in and explore the world of Linux. Now one, use the ls command to list files and directories. The ls command is one of the most frequently used commands in Linux, and it is used to list all the files and directories in the current working directory. To use the else command, simply type ls and press enter. This will display a list of all the files and directories in the current working directory. For example, if you are in the home directory, the ls command will display a list of all the files and directories in that location. The ls command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the ls-a option will display all files including hidden files that start with a dot. The ls-l option will display a long listing of all the files and directories, including information such as the permissions, size, and owner of each file. Number two, use the cd command to change directories. The cd command is used to change the current working directory. To use the cd command, simply type cd and then enter the name of the directory that you want to change to. For example, if you are in the home directory and you want to change to the documents directory, you would type cd documents and press enter. If you want to go back to the previous directory, you can use the cd tilde symbol. For example, if you are in the documents directory, you can use cd tilde to go back to the home directory. The cd command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the cd-p option will print the full path of the directory being changed. Number three, use the cat command to display file contents. The cat command is used to display the contents of a file. To use the cat command, simply type cat and then enter the name of the file that you want to display. For example, if you have a file called my file, you would type cat my file and press enter. This will display the contents of the file. The cat command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the cat-b option will display the file in its current format. And the cat-e option will display each line number along with the contents of the file. 4. Use the grep command to search for text within files. The grep command is used to search for text within files. To use the grep command, simply type grep and then enter the text that you want to search for. For example, if you want to search for the word password in a file called passwords, txt, you would type grep password passwords. txt and press enter. This will display the line in which the word password appears in the file. The grep command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the grep-i option will ignore case when searching for the text. And the grep-r option will search for the text in all the files in the current directory. Number five, use the find command to locate files and directories. The find command is used to locate files and directories in the file system. To use the find command, simply type find and then enter the name of the file or directory that you want to locate. For example, if you want to locate a file called my file, you would type find my file and press enter. This will display the path to the file. The find command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the find-name option will find all files that match a given pattern. And the find-max-depth option will limit the depth of the search. 6. Use the command command to change file permissions. The command command is used to change the permissions of a file. To use the command command, simply type command and then enter the permissions that you want to change. For example, if you want to make a file read only, you would type command 444 file name and press enter. The permissions can be specified in a variety of ways, including using numeric values, symbolic names, or octal values. The command command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the cod-r option will change the permissions of all subdirectories and files in a directory. 7. Use the chown command to change file ownership. The chown command is used to change the owner of a file or directory. To use the chown command, simply type chown and then enter the username of the new owner. 
For example, if you want to change the owner of a file called my file to a user called newser, you would type chown newser my file and press enter. The chown command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the chown r option will change the owner of all subdirectories and files in a directory. And the chown m option will change the owner of a file to a specific user ID. 8. Use the history command to display command history. The history command is used to display the history of commands that have been executed. To use the history command, simply type history and press enter. This will display a list of all the commands that have been executed in the current session. The history command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the history dash option will clear the history of commands. And the history dash C option will clear the history of commands and then exit. Jiu. Use the man command to display manual pages. The man command is used to display manual pages for commands and other utilities. To use the man command, simply type man and then enter the name of the command or utility that you want to view the manual page for. For example, if you want to view the manual page for the ls command, you would type man ls and press enter. This will display the manual page for the ls command, which includes information about the command as well as its options and usage. The man command has several options that can be used to modify its behavior. For example, the man-k option will search for a keyword in the manual pages. And the man-t option will display the table of contents for the manual pages. Number 10, use the clear command to clear the screen. The clear command is used to clear the screen. Simply type clear and press enter. This will clear the screen and remove any text that was previously displayed. The clear command can be useful for cleaning up the terminal window and making it easier to read output. Now that you know some of the most important Linux commands, it's time to test your knowledge. We've created a quiz that covers the material presented in this video. You can take the quiz by visiting our post page. If you're looking to deepen your knowledge of Linux, we encourage you to check out our channel Secure Start O. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.